okay in this video we'll talk about an interesting problem so this problem was posted in splunk answers so i have uh, i have given a solution for that problem as well there so i just modified this problem to make it more simplistic mm, but the but the core core problem statement is same okay so the the pro the problem is suppose if you have um your data coming like this like it's a very simple data where you have different different file names in your system okay and now your job is to build a search query where in the search query you'll be giving a file name and you want to know whether in your index the file name exists or not so the search query should give you either yes or no okay so you can give any file name over there okay so now let us see how we can implement it and i will while implementing um i will tell you the challenge over here okay so so this is our initial data right so to find a file name what we'll do generally is we will do the data on the file name so that we will have the unique file name in our system right um, so as all of my file names are unique so it's still giving me three records that's fine so now after that i'll let's say i'll create a val called search file name where um, where i'll be giving the actual file name i want to search let's say now i want to search file 3 okay so now okay so this is my search file name so now i'll say eval okay file eval sorry it will be where my file name equals to our search file name correct so this will be my condition so that means it should give me this row only correct because this is the file i wanted to return so if i run this one correct so it's giving me one row so now but my query should give me either yes or no so i'm saying eval file exists okay equals to so if my file name is equals to searched file name then i'll say yes otherwise i'll say no okay and then i'll just take um, the file exist table file exist so that should be our approach right very very simple one mm, now think about it okay so for for clarity purpose i will just remove file exists table file exists so that we'll, we can see all the fields it is creating mm, now think about it if i give file 4 over here file 4 if you see in our index the file 4 itself not exist right we have file 3 file 2 and file 1 correct so this query is giving me no result found but why i want to know yes or no that means it should give me no as well okay so in that case we need to handle this no result found scenario so to do that the trick is to this is how i i i solve this issue maybe uh, there should be some other solution as well has to be maybe you can think about it and and let me know in, in the comments in this video so i'll what i'll do is before this where okay i will create a append statement so if you know from my splunk other other videos appends is basically appending a row result to the existing result set right so i'll say make results okay then then pipe eval so i'll i'll basically i'm creating file name a dummy file name okay so it will be all, all, always appended to this to this result set let's say dummy okay and then i'll say table file name 
let's see it first before the wire close okay so now if you see with all my existing file names it has appended a dummy file name over there okay mm, now let's add the other one so i am saying where my file name is equals to the searched file name okay i think this one this this wire condition has to be over here before the search because here only this condition is actually responsible for no result found right after that only we should be appending our dummy rows so i'll just move i am just moving the wire class before the append okay so now now let us see what's what what we are getting if you see here at this till this point it is no result found after that append is creating that extra file name dummy row right now okay and i am saying eval file exist search file name okay so if it, it is saying file exist equals to no because the search it is the, the, the dummy name is not matching with the searched file name okay so or basically there is no search file name fields over here because of this no result found over here right so my file exist will be always no in this case okay so now i can just take the file exist value okay so now at least we have handled the no result found now if you see this creates another problem when i am giving the correct file name if you see file exist if i take the file exist column it will have both the values yes and no okay so i have to fix this one so in this case what i need to do if you see append always append the last of the code right last of the result set right so in this case what i will do we'll take head one head one not the top one okay head means the first first result will be taking that one so if i take this one so now for the file name which is exist in the data it is saying yes perfectly fine because i am ignoring the row created by append because of by using this head one and i can use head one only because of this scenario where append is appending the result at the end okay and it always do that one that's why i'm able to use this head one over here now if we give any other file name which does not even exist in the index so it is giving me no only because of this thing head one again because in that case i'll be getting a single row over there right so head one will always give me that row okay so this is how you can use append command to create a dummy row to handle this no result found scenario maybe this i'm just thinking this problem can be solved by using multi value fields maybe you can you can try that one and see whether you can solve that problem or not see you in next video